hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video we're going to be learning how to draw a basic bodice pattern so we'll be needing our marker pencil tape scissors ruler and your pattern paper okay so i go ahead by measuring half half inch because that is going to be my starting point which will also be my shoulder line I'm also going to write it shoulder line to indicate so for my shoulder line I'm going to be going down to my boss point so for my shoulder line also I'm going down to my under boss point and also for my shoulder line I'll be going down to my waistline and also my hip line of my hip line i did not know that that part was not showing i'm sorry about that so i'm going to be doing them out and also i'm going to be writing and um, label it boys line under boss line and waist line i've not draw out my hip line now yet this is what i'm doing now so my hip line i use 23 inches okay for my hip line then i read it out also and label it hip line So for my shoulder line, I'm going to be drawing out my neck measurement. I'm going 3 by 3, 3 inches depth and 3 inches length. This is the basic uh, neckline. And so for my shoulder, I also draw out my shoulder, which is 7 and a half. I'm going to be going down by 1 inch. That is our shoulder stoop. Okay, from there, I'm going to measure my armhole measurement so what i'm doing here on the bust line is i'm also putting in putting my shoulder line there my shoulder measurement there so i can get a straight line so how to get your armhole measurement how i do my is i divide my boss my boss by six then i have i add the whatever i get i add 1.5 inch to it that is my armhole line So right here on the armhole line, so I'm going to be folding my tape into two to get the mid midpoint, okay, to indicate go from that midpoint, we're going to be going in by half inch. Now I'm drawing out my armhole curve. So what I'm doing right here is putting my nipple to nipple measurement, which is 3.5 inch. How to measure nipple to nipple? The difference between your both nipple, okay? So that is a nipple to nipple measurement. I'm going to be taking it from my bust to my hip line, and I'm going to be giving it a, I'm going to be drawing a straight line to that. Because I'm about to create our dart, okay? So there's something you need to know. Why? taking your dart measurement make sure you're taking it from the waistline so my waistline what i'm taking here i'm taking half inch by half inch from the waistline and from the hip line i came up by two inches all those parts did not show i'm really sorry for that so i'm connecting the whole point together from the two inches that i came up from the hip line i'm connecting it to that half inch and also from that half inch i'm connecting to my bust line So right here i'm going to be going in i'm going to be putting my basic bodies measurements that is my bust yeah my bust my bust divided by four and also one inch allowance i'm adding allowance to my pattern and on the waistline i'm going to be putting my waist measurement divided by four and one inch allowance also i'll be adding the one inch i removed 
from that that i'm going to be inputting it back because once we cut out cut out that that we have to you know put back the one inch so my hip line i went i went ahead by dividing my hip divided by four yeah plus one inch allowance that is what i have so from this point i'm going to be marking i want to add in we're going to be adding um boss that to this so how to get an accurate boss that measure from your shoulder to your waistline at the back and your waist from your shoulder to your waistline at the front the difference you see there is a difference because our sh our back and the front is not the same yeah for mine my own difference is just two inches from my shoulder to my waist at the back is 14 while from my shoulder to my waist at the front is two in is 16 inches so the difference is just two inches so that is why i'm marking my bust that two inches okay so i'm going to be cutting out this pattern yeah so the front pattern is already is ready i'm going to be writing it front pattern so now this is we're going to be drafting the back pattern i'll go ahead by drawing a straight line that is my starting point also known as my shoulder line so from there i'm going down my bust line yeah and my waistline So I'm going to be ruining them out now. You will notice I've not drawn my hip line. You see what I will do. So to get my hip line, what I did was I brought I bring back the front uh, the front pattern. I measure what I have from my waist to my hip line at the front. I put it back there. Okay. So I'm going to be right labeling it out waistline, bust line, and hip line and shoulder line also. So now on the neck depth, on the neck width, I'm going to go in by three inches also, but the neck depth is higher than the front one. So my neck depth is one inch. I'm also going to be marking out my shoulder line. My shoulder line, like I said at the at the front when I drafted the front one the same thing i did here i ma also mark my shoulder line at the bottom so i can get a straight line so that one inch i came down is my shoulder slope because our shoulder is not straight so that is why that one inch is there as a shoulder slope so now i'm going to measure my armhole just the same thing i did at the front So now I'm going to be putting my nipple to nipple measurement also. Three and a half inch. My nipple to nipple is seven inches divided by two. That is three and a half, three point five inches. So that is what I'm inputting here. So now I'm going to be taking our dart measurement from the waist, half half inch from both sides. And now okay, look at what I did at the front side. The hip line I came up by two inches, then I connect the whole lines together. So I'm going to be inputting my measurements, my waist measurements, divided by four. Add one inch plus the one inch I removed from the dart. I'm going to be adding it back. I put my bust measurement divided by four plus one inch allowance. Also, my hip line. I did the same thing. My hip measurement divided by four plus one inch allowance. So I'm going to be connecting the whole lines together. If you are very curvy, you will notice it from your pattern. So I'm going to be labeling it the back pattern and I'm also going to write one inch added allowance added so that whenever I'm cutting on, on a pattern or on my on my fabric, 
I will know that I already added one inch to it. So the reason why this basic body is very important here is very important so that whenever I want to draft, uh, you want to cut your blouse or anything, you know it's already easier for you to do. So our basic body is ready, and this is how it looks. Okay, I'm also going going to be writing at the front one one inch allowance added so that I will know whenever I want to cut now guys you notice that the difference from the back you see that different the back is shorter than the front the difference is just two inches that is the one we added at the boss that so once we cut it out then it's going to be the same length so when cutting on your fabric don't forget to add your zipper allowance thanks for watching guys